wants to be doing a thrift store haul. Now, um, a couple of videos back, I did my first um, big thrift store haul. And I um, told you guys that I was probably going to do a two-part video because I had picked up quite a few pieces. And I still had some pieces that was in the um, dry cleaners. I'm sorry. So, I've been in the thrift store a lot lately, y'all. A lot. And I think I'm going to turn this into, instead of doing just two videos, I think I'm just going to turn this into kind of like a series because your girl has been in the thrift store more than she has been in the mall, y'all. I've been loving the thrift store. I have been getting so many very nice pieces from the thrift store. I've been finding pieces that, you know, you, well, thrift store, anyway, you find pieces that you normally don't find at the mall. So if you want to see this video or you want to see the good, the awesome, I don't even say good, the awesome pieces that I found in the thrift store, stay tuned for this video. Okay, y'all, so let's get into this video. I'm a little bit agitated because I just went through this video thinking I was in record mode and I was not recording, so... I've been sitting here talking to my damn self for the last 20 minutes, so I'm a little bit agitated. So, I'm going to try to hurry up and get through this video, y'all, before my battery dies. So, the first things I got from the thrift store were accessories, y'all. So, I got two pair of earrings from a, a private-owned private thrift store. I cannot remember the name of that thrift store, but if I do, if it comes to me, I know it's going to come to me after this video. Once it comes to me, I'll leave that name of that thrift store in the description box below. But if you can see these, I'm not sure if it's going to focus because this autofocus sucks on here. But this is just a pair of gold shell earrings. Y'all, these were a dollar. And then I got these ones, y'all. Um, I'm not sure if you can see these. But they just a pair of teal and gold earrings, y'all. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoa, y'all. These are teal and green. And they were $2. I like both pair of those earrings because they both look so vintage. And they just remind you of the sea, you know, like seashells. So, I thought that was cute. I'm always looking for vintage jewelry. Now, I'm looking for some, some cuffs. I really want to find some vintage cuffs. So, my next item, y'all, is this belt. Ooh. I got this belt, y'all, from Value Village Thrift Store, and it's just a cognac color belt with the big buckle. I still got a tag on this, y'all. This was $5.99, and this is just um, a big belt that brings in your, that you will cinch in your waist with. I actually brought that belt for a reason. I brought a coat from that same thrift store, Value Village, and the coat, I brought that belt to because I plan on cinching in the waist of that coat. I'm not going to show you that coat because I'm going to um, feature that coat in the upcoming YouTube um, coat haul that I'm going to bring to you guys. So I'm not going to um, show you that coat today, but the belt was in mind of that coat. So from that same thrift store that I got the earrings from, I, can, I am so mad that I cannot think of the name of that thrift store, y'all. I know it's on the tip of my tongue and I know it's going to come to me. Um, once I finish recording this video, but I got this belt too, y'all, and this is just a slender, thin line belt, and it has the gold hardware um, here. And this belt, y'all, is a crocodile print belt, and it's like a um, hunter green, yeah, forest green, hunter green, whatever you want to call it. But this belt was 99 cents, y'all. Now this belt just fits. I mean, it just fits my waist. So I will only be able to wear that belt at the highest point of um, my waist where I'm the smallest. But I brought it anyway, honey. 99 cents, you can't beat that. Um, and what is the other belt? I got another belt from Yep. Yeah. I got one more belt from that same thrift store. And all of that belts in that thrift store, y'all, was anywhere from 99 cents to $1.99. And I got this belt as well, y'all. This is a gorgeous, y'all. Gorgeous. Is this not a gorgeous jewel tone green, y'all? This is so pretty. And it has the big buckle as well. The only thing about this belt is I think this belt um, came off of a clothing item because it just has that look, you know, with the silver, the little two silver dots here on the hardware. It does have silver hardware. 
it just I think it came over some it probably was attached to some type of vintage looking dress y'all it's a wool look I'm pretty sure it's not wool um, but it has that wool look so I'm okay with that and this one y'all I think this one was a dollar and 99 cents I um and you know what the, the story behind this one I got this one because it's a pair of top shop boots that I want y'all so bad and when I went to try to try to get them during the Black Friday sale, y'all, they were sold out. I was so mad. I mean, sold out to the point that I don't even see them on the site anymore. So I don't even think they're going to bring them back. But I brought this to go with that because I thought it would be so cute with this color blue and this belt. I was going to throw it on with this white long line maxi um, type of shirt that I have um, with those boots. The boots have a little bit of black in it, so I was going to wear a black clutch. And child, you wasn't gonna be able to tell me anything. Y'all know the brown belt that I just showed y'all. I think this is genuine leather. I really think this is genuine leather. You can't tell me it isn't genuine leather. It has the look of genuine leather. It has the feel of genuine leather. It's heavy like genuine leather. This one, uh, uh, mommy, no, please don't beat me. <laughs> it's like belts. Yes, y'all. Very heavy. Very sturdy. Um... And uh, uh awesome price for $5.99. You cannot beat $5.99 for a genuine leather belt. Which brings me to this belt, y'all, which I know is a uh, hundred percent genuine leather. Y'all, this um has the leather um backing. Well, I'm sure the backing, the base of it is genuine leather. And y'all, this is like crocodile print. How cool is that? How cool. This is really cool, and it has the big gray buckle with a little bit of, um, what is this called, y'all? What's that called? Kind of, um, like ribbon style, um, trimming. Um, and the color is gray, a dark gray, a light gray, and kind of like a, a taupe kind of like color. But this is cute, y'all. This belt just fits my waist, um... I've actually worn this. I've been wearing this. I have a coat from last winter that I got from Tord, um that no longer fits. It's too big. Um, I lost quite a bit of weight. And I'll have a video coming up coming up to you guys with um, a weight loss video. But I lost quite a bit of weight. And that all of my coats from last winter are too big. And that coat I got from Tor is really, really cute. And I did not want to get rid of it. So... It's a double breasted military style coat, and it's, um, what color is it? It's like a all white, um, I'm looking at it now, like an all white and gray, and it's the inside is lined with pink. So I just take this, instead of buttoning it, doing the buttons, I just take it, cross it over, put this belt around it, y'all, and I'm good to go. It's cute. Can't tell me nothing. It's a, it's a, only, I only think I could button maybe two buttons. But it works if I can wear it over top of the coat. It fits, baby. It fits. So let's get um, on to the skirts. So I have gotten, I picked up two skirts. And I got both of these skirts, y'all, from Goodwill. Now, I don't normally shop in the Goodwill. I go in there every once in a while to see what they have. But for some reason, the Goodwills that I have been going into, I have never been able to really find a lot of nice pieces in my size maybe I need to lose a couple of pounds or maybe um, people need to donate um, you, you know as heavy a plus size woman donate to the Goodwill because the Goodwill has been kind of lacking in my size um, and then sometimes the Goodwill can be a little expensive unless you um, find something um, the tags you know they do the color tags and depend on what color tag it is for that day where you'll get like a discount I'm not sure how much of a discount, but I knew I know that's how they do their discounts. But I got this skirt, y'all. It looks wool, but it's not wool. It's polyester. It's like a wool look. I thought it was wool when I brought it. I didn't notice it was it wasn't wool until I got it home. But it's okay. It's just a simple burgundy and black dress, um, and it's just something that I would wear to work. I would throw this on y'all with some black fleece tights. Um, a pair of boots or a pair of um, loafers and a blazer and call it a day. This is by the brand Liz Claiborne and this is petite. This is um, a petite Liz Claiborne. It fits me at the knee so for you petite ladies. I'm not sure maybe this was 
and calf length dress. Um, that hits you right at maybe the lower part of your calf, but it fits me. It hits me at the knee. And let me say, did I say the other side? I didn't say the other side. Y'all, this, okay, this is a petite extra large. I was about to say, when is PXL, honey? <laughs> it's a petite extra large, y'all. And I got this skirt as well, y'all, from the Goodwill. And this is so cute, y'all. I think this is just such a girly, a girly dress with the ruffle detailing at the bottom. And it's a double ruffle. I hope you can see. A double ruffle detailing at the bottom. This is a paisley print, y'all. So it has, um, it has paisley, like little flowers. Is that paisley or flowers? Well, it's little flowers. And it has the bigger flowers here at the waistband um, and down the um the front of the dress and the dress does button all the way down it has buttons all the way down and these are functional functional buttons so um <laughs> i didn't i had to make sure this fit because i need to be busting out y'all but it's cute it fits me to the knee i think it's so girly girl um this is something i can wear to work i can dress it up i can still even dress this down what size is it y'all uh, I'm not going to even begin, y'all, to try to read this tape, um, because the way my eyes set up, honey, your girl can't see that. So, I'm not sure. It's somebody for Target. Joe, Joe was something for Target. So, it must be one of the lines, you know, um, Target does, um, they do um, collaborations with different people. They do a couple of collaborations a year. So I guess it was one of the collaborations that they had. But it's cute. This is a size 13. So that's what I um, what I tell people. Don't don't be discouraged about the size and, and the thrift store. Like you go in a regular store and you know you normally a 16 or 18 or 14 or whatever size you may be. You know your sizes in regular stores. At thrift stores, you can make a lot of stuff work. And then you have to remember, a lot of these clothes was from different generations. I mean, it was from different times. So, the sizing was a lot different. You know, I'm not sure of how they were doing sizes back in the day. But I know I can get away with different sizes in the thrift store. So, it doesn't matter whether you pick up an item that you that's not your size that you think is too small or you pick up an item that's not your size that you think is too big. A lot of the things that you think is too small, you can get away with it and it fits. And a lot of stuff that you think is too big, it either is going to fit or if even if it's oversized, it's something that you can do with it to make it fit, to make it work for you. So don't be discouraged. If you find something that you like, try it on. Before you just, you know, determine that this is something I'm not going to get. Try it on and see what you, you know, how it fits and what you can do with it. So that brings me to, to this skirt. Because this really does not fit me, y'all. This skirt is so gorgeous. It's so my style. I told y'all I'm a girly girl. I love flowy pieces. I am normally a dress type of girl. But for some reason this season, skirts have been calling out to me. Yes, they have been calling, they've been calling my name, Kiana, 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 get me, yes. So, this skirt is a um, cheetah leopard, y'all, I don't know, <laughs> I know, I hope I don't sound um, unintelligent when I say that, I just get cheetah and leopard mixed up all the time, so go ahead and feel free to correct me in the comment section and let your girl know what print this is. But this is so gorgeous. It's flowy. It has pleats, but it's not that heavy pleat. It's a light pleat. Um, it has gold and caramel and brown tones in the skirt. This is a maxi skirt. Um, and when you see it on, it just flows. It's very pretty. I'm not sure of the size of this skirt. It doesn't have a tag in it, but the tag that it had... Um, that I tore off before I put it in the wash said a size 22. But 22 is definitely not my size. When I tried this on, it was way too big, y'all. Way too big. But I tried it on with a belt, y'all. Cinched, cinched it in at the waist with a belt and then pulled the top of the skirt up over the belt and made the skirt kind of like paper bag waisted, y'all. It, it, it came together. That's why I said don't be discouraged of size. If you like it, 
try it on, see what you can do with it. Nine times out of ten, you can make it work, especially for items that are too big. So, items is too small, there's really nothing you can do with it unless you're using that for extra fat. For, mm, I'm sorry, I can't talk, y'all. Fret fabric. <laughs> I can't talk. I'm so tired. Okay, so my next piece, y'all, is this. And that skirt was six. No. Yeah, that skirt was six dollars and forty-nine cents. Value village. So this is another skirt, y'all. I got this skirt from a, um, another thrift store. It's not value village. It's called the village. And this skirt fits me perfect, y'all. Like I said, this is a size 18. I'm normally a 16. This is an 18. This fits me like a glove. It fits me perfectly. Now, this is by the brand Talbots. And this, yes, Talbots 18. This is 100% silk. This skirt is gorgeous. This is so gorgeous. You're going to be seeing this in a lookbook coming up. A lookbook that I have for you guys. But this is gorgeous, y'all. This dress was, I mean, skirt was $5.99. And 99 cents, yeah. $5.99 for 100% silk. Yes, 100% silk. Which brings me to this shirt that I got from the village as well. The same thrift store. This is a 100% silk shirt too, y'all. Now, this is a vintage shirt. I'm into vintage shirts because I love the detailing here. Where you can do like a, um, a bow tie tie any type of way you want. Um, this one, how do I got this on the hang here, y'all? So, yeah, you can tie this any way you want. It comes down in the V in the front, and then it buttons all the way down. Um, it does have long sleeves. This is 100% silk. This fits me perfect, and the color is gorgeous. It's a, um, like a fuchsia paint. A fuchsia paint color, y'all. And it has a little, no, I don't think, I was about to say it has a little ruching at the sleeve that kind of makes it puff up, but I don't think it does. I'm not sure, I'm wondering did this have shoulder pads. This has shoulder pads, y'all, you can tell from the snaps. It, they, it has, I'm sure you probably can't see that, but it has some snapper in the um, arm part, and I'm thinking because shoulder pads was there, whoever had this shirt before me probably removed the shoulder pads. And this is by the line Tutu. Now, I'm not sure who Tutu is. Never heard of them. But Tutu made a very cute shirt. This is a 16 Y. And this was probably about $6.99. I'm not sure the prices. I always remove the tags from the item shop. The next time I do a thrift store haul. Well, it's not going to be my next one. Because I have, I, have, I have a lot of stuff that I already removed the tags from. But I'm going to um, make a mental note. The next time I go thrifting. If I am going to take the tags off to put it in some type of Ziploc bag so I can have the prices for you guys when I do the um, haul. And that's going to bring me to this skirt, which is was brought from one of those private um, um, thrift stores. And this skirt was $3.49, y'all. It's from a thrift store called Thrifty Thrift Store. It's private owned. It's in um, Charles County. Yeah, Charles County, Maryland. Um, it's a, it's, it looks wool, it looks wool, like a wool skirt, but it's not 100% wool, it's a wool blend. If you can see, it has the silver zippers here down the front. Um, it has a, um, a hidden zipper here in the back. And this line is by Talbot, y'all. This is an 18 wide, and this is a batiste skirt, too. Um... But it fits me pretty well. It fits me like a mini skirt. It probably, it probably would fit. I know it would fit a petite woman um, to the knee. But it still look. It, I like it. I like it perfect. It fits perfectly to me. And it is lined, so you don't have to worry about that um, kind of itchy feel of the wool. But y'all, this skirt was three dollars and forty nine cents. You can't beat that. Yes, three dollars and forty nine cents at Thrifty Thrift Store. Did I get anything else from them? I don't think so. So my next item, y'all, is this blazer. This is from the Village Thrift School, y'all, too. This is so cute. It's a double-breasted woman's blazer. And it's wool. I'm pretty sure this is wool. Oh, no, honey. This is acrylic. 
and polyester. I hope this don't be itching me and scratching me up, y'all. But it's lined, so it should be fine. It's um this double breasted blazer, and it's um like a uh army green and kind of like a mustard color. I thought this was cute. It looks way better on. It looks really, really, really nice on. Um, and I was kind of on the fence about that one because to me it just fits me. It just fits. It's it's um it's kind of a little bit snug, but I like the way it looks, so I could not turn it down. It's seven dollars ninety nine cents. Actually. I brought that blazer. I didn't buy the blazer the first day I saw it. I tried it on. I was like, um, I've been buying a lot of blazers here lately, and this one just fits. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry. My camera um cut off, y'all. I was steady here just uh, talking and yapping and yapping away. And the whole time I was talking to myself, honey, because the camera was not on. So I don't know what I was giving. But um, I think I was talking about um, the goodwill. Um, what piece was that on? Yeah, I think I was talking about the Goodwill with that last skirt that I got. The last skirt I got, I was telling you that I got from the Goodwill. I was telling you that I normally don't find pieces, a lot of pieces in the Goodwill. For some reason, um, I can't find a lot of items in my size. I'm not sure if I need to lose a pound, a couple of pounds, honey, or if us plus size women need to start donating to Goodwill. I'm just not sure, but I never am able to find too many pieces in the Goodwill like I am at, um, like I'm able to at Value Village or The Village or some of the, um, private, um, thrift stores. So, um, uh, no, one other thing I noticed too about the thrift store, what I don't like, they do have pretty good tag deals, like, depending on what color of the week it, um, what, what color it is of the week, they, I think sometimes they may have even up to 50% off of that, but, a lot of the times when I go in, the items that I found find is never the tag of the week, so I don't ever get that sale. But uh, I, I just think that their pricing is a little off anyway. They have like a price list, like I think all the dresses are $8.99 um, and above. And I'm used to at the Value Village getting dresses from $6.99, so maybe the highest being $9.99, but most of the dresses being about $6.99. So I too much don't go on a goodwill a lot. Um, I'm hoping to find one that's fully stocked um, with plus size plus size items that I would like. Okay, so first um, another accessory. Well, I tend to think it's an accessory. It's this slip, y'all. No, I did not get this slip to wear as a slip dress. If I was wearing a slip dress, it'll be much longer. But this um, slip, y'all hits me above my knee and it's just a gold pattern and it has um kind of high on the sides comes kind of high on the sides y'all but i just brought that because if, if the last thrift haul that you saw if you did watch that one you saw that i had a see-through kind of snake skin skirt that had like a slit up the side I brought that because I took the lining out of that skirt because I did not like how the lining looked. So I brought this. This is this is the color of the lining that was in the um, skirt, y'all. So I brought this to wear underneath of that skirt. Of course, you know, it's a whole piece, but I could not find a, a decent um, half slip. So I got that for that. My next item, y'all, is this. I'm so sorry if I keep saying y'all like you know. <laughs> um, this is just a sweater dress. This is just a sweater dress that I got. I got this one from Value Village. Y'all, this comes to a decent length. I'm sure you're not going to be able to see the length of it. I'm sure this is not, you're not going to be able to get all of this in the full frame. But this is really cute, y'all. It's very fall inspired with the kind of caramel color. It goes around the neckline, and then you have cream here. Then you have, y'all, a little bit of orange here. Then the navy blue background. This is just adorable, and it fits me so well. It fits me so, so well, y'all. I can't wait to wear this. And then it has kind of like that um, puff kind of sleeve, and the sleeve fits me at a good level. You know how sometimes 
you get dresses that are short sleeve and the sleeve just cuts you off at such an awkward length where you still have that you know for people that have big arms you still have that kind of flab at the bottom and most of us try to cover that up honey so it comes to a decent length to where so you can hide any imperfections in your arms for people who do not like to show their arms and that dress I'm sorry y'all the slip was three dollars and this dress was six dollars and ninety nine cents and like I said that dress was from Value Village the next piece that I got another item from Value Village y'all I'm so mad about this skirt because I thought this is just this is a black um, silk skirt 100% silk skirt y'all 100% um, it's like a to me is to me it's like a slip skirt and it hits you right about at the knee maybe a little bit over the knee but when I saw this skirt y'all I actually thought it was a slip I really actually thought it was a slip it looked like a slip and I brought it because I was thinking, okay, I can wear this under a skirt, a, a skirt, one of the skirts that have like a little, this little staticky, to keep the static away. But I threw it, I got it home, I threw it in the washer without looking at the tags. I got it from out of the washer and the dryer because I dried it too. And this is a stretchy fabric, y'all. This is stretchy. It has some stretch to it. Um, it doesn't have much stretch, but it does have, it's, well, it does have. Um, a lot of stretch. It's it's a stretchy material. So when I got it out the dry, y'all, I looked at the tag then just to see who it was made by or what material it it was. What material it was, and it was a hundred percent silk. I was so mad at myself for putting this in the washer. So mad at myself. It is so cute on this skirt. It's really really cute on. But it just looks different now. Maybe if I take it to the cleaners and have it steamed up, nicely steamed with all the wrinkles out, maybe I can get away with still wearing it nicely. But I'm going to wear it either, either way, whether it's faded, whether it's a little bit faded or not. And y'all, this skirt is in a size 16, and it's by the brand Identity by Laura & Taylor. See, if I would have saw that tag that said Laura & Taylor and I wasn't being fast, I probably would have known that it was a very good quality because child, my grandmother stayed in Lou and Teller. Before she passed away, um, when she was, you know, my grandmother passed away when she was a hundred. But she before then, before she got to the point where she wasn't going out much, she used to stay and she was always in Lou and Teller. We was always in Lou and Teller on certain days. And everybody knows Lou and Teller has really good quality clothes. Expensive clothes, but very good quality. So that's um from Lord and Taylor and it's a size 16. Y'all, I'm sorry I didn't give you the size on this um sweater dress. This sweater dress is by Jessica Howard. I'm not sure of the brand. I never heard of Jessica Howard, but if you know the brand, um hit me with some comments in the in the description below. I'm sorry. This dress is a 1X, y'all. It's a 1X. I'm sorry, y'all, if I feel a little um, lackluster today. I'm a little tired. I've been running around all day, y'all. All day with my son. So this is another dress that I got. And this is just like kind of like a flowy, girly girl. I love those kind of flowy, girly girl dresses or skirts. And this is a... Is this black and white or blue and white, child? I really need to start wearing my glasses. I really think this is navy blue and white, y'all. It has little flowers all throughout. And then it has, it kind of flows. It's that flowy look. That kind of um, rounded bottom that flows. And it kind of have like little small pleats throughout. It has a zipper on the side, y'all. This is just so cute. I'll wear this with some long boots or some black boobies and call it a day. A sweater or a turtleneck. Call it a day. This is a size large, y'all, and this is Elements. That's why I say with the thrift store, don't be scared to try on pieces that you um, particularly may not wear when you go in regular stores. Like, I would probably never go into a regular store and pick up a large unless it was something oversized, an oversized sweater, oversized shirt. But in the thrift store, for some reason, it's different brands. It's di different manufacturers who made these pieces, so you just don't know how the fit is going to be. So pick it up, try it on. 
um, because you just never know. And that goes for things that you think will be too small for you and things that you think will be too big for you. Because I found a lot of pieces that's like 20, 22, 24s, which I know is going to be too big. But I bring it home and I can make it work. So I hope you guys like this haul. I hope um, all of the pieces um, were nice. I hope that you're looking forward to um, my series, my new series that I'm going to be doing. I'm pretty sure I said in the beginning I'm going to do a thrift store series because I have quite a few pieces. I have, still have a lot of pieces that I need to pick up from the cleaners and a lot of pieces that I need to wash. So I hope you're looking forward to that. Uh, if you are looking forward to that and you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to your girl. Thumbs up this video and make sure you hit the bell for notifications. That's when you'll get notified anytime I, uh, that I upload videos. So I just hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye-bye, my loves.